Hi, everybody. Good morning. Um, today we're going to do a uh, vinyasa one. So let me know if you're here. Uh, and always we have a few minutes together and let me know how you're feeling. Hello, Daga Josan. So, you know, if you're in other parts of the world, it might be evening, it might be afternoon. And no matter what, it's really good just to move your body and, you know, just have a, a commitment to your practice as much as you can. Hey, Karis. Hi, Rachel. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Hi, Karen from San Francisco. Thank you for checking in. What time is it there? What time is it in San Fran? Um, so if you're new to yoga, um, it's well, welcome, you know, everybody has their first class, right? And sometimes the first class may be a bit daunting, but, um, you know what you're here, you're going to experience, and you're just going to get an idea of what a vinyasa is, right? Good morning, Josan. Good morning. Hello, everybody. So <clears throat> vinyasa is quite a powerful practice. Right. Um, not necessarily because the poses are harder. It's because there's quite a lot of movement. Right. So vinyasa le, you le da chi shan yu ga le, wu yao shu shu, ah, 觉得好似好难咁样嘅。不过系个节奏，只不过系快少少。不过啲动作系未必系十分之啊难过平时一个 static 嘅 practice 嘅。Good morning. Hello. Hello. Good morning. How are you guys feeling? 今日身體好嘛 ？Have you guys been practicing in the studios in your own country or city? How's your practice come along? So sometimes I have people asking me,、um, you know, about being positive and negative and having certain perceptions of things, right? And for me, good morning, good me. For me, negative perceptions or thoughts aren't a bad thing because it's a very natural thing. 誒有陣時啲人問我樂觀或者一個好悲觀嘅思想咧，即係 I'm saying just simply maybe approaching your practice. You know, you're thinking, I can't do that pose. Wow, that pose is so hard, and you haven't even done it, but you're looking at it, right? So I want you to really connect and realize that that negative bubble that popped in your head is not a bad thing. It's a very natural thing. You know, it's something that you possibly you haven't done before, or you haven't really stretched your body out. Good morning, everybody. Joseph. So what I mean is that. Recognize that. So let's say I see a pose. It's like, oh my goodness, it's so hard. I don't think I can do it, right? And then once you have that thought, it's your choice to actually, you know, just take a look at that thought or actually believe it, you know. And if you actually believe it, then you're never going to try that pose, right? You're never going to go. You're going to think, oh, you know, it's definitely hard. I can't do it. I don't want to. Not for me, <laughs> right? But you can think, oh my god, that's so hard. Oh, okay. So maybe I just need to. Focus or dedicate a little bit more practice and see if I can actually do it. You know, so know that negative perceptions and thoughts aren't a bad thing. It's learning how to step back and not believing those things. You know, especially during your practice. Good morning. And also, I don't have the sound from your video. Oh, do you guys hear me? I hope you hear me. Right, you got handle gamma. Okay, so just let me know if you hear me or or possibly. Um, I hope you hear me. <laughs> Or possibly check your volume and stuff and see if you're able to hear and and everything. Good morning. Okay, 如果你聽到我，啊、uh, ，你同我講聲，你聽到我啦，因為頭先有個同學仔就話聽唔到，唔該曬。Okay, so um, I think that was Jackie. <clears throat> if you don't have the sound, I apologize. I'm not sure. I'm definitely not a techie person, so I'm not sure what you should do. But hopefully that when we reload or upload this. Um, a video eventually that you're able to hear it then, okay? Or try to like hear me with your eyes when I do the poses, okay? So again,、uh, because this is an online class, if you do have any injuries or、um, uh, any, or especially if you're pregnant,、um, before there was、uh, someone asking me in regards to pregnancy,、um, just take care. I, I, for me, if it's your first time to yoga, I don't recommend you to do vinyasa too much when you're, especially in the first trimester and you're new. But if you're a regular practitioner, you know, I'm sure you're really aware of how to listen to your body and be very aware and what it's telling you, especially when there's a little baby in your belly, okay? And if you have any injuries, um, make adjustments. Um, I really enjoy you guys letting me know How you guys feel about class?、Um, I really, really appreciate your feedback,、um, and 
if you have any injuries and if I'm able to share any personal uh, stories about myself and how I can help you in your practice, I definitely will, right? And if I don't know, which I, I don't know a lot, right, I'll definitely see if I can point you towards the right direction, okay? So if you have any questions, if you have any questions about your own practice, if you have any personal stories, I will definitely share them with you. But if I don't know, I don't know. All right, I can see if you can point me to which direction or which direction you can point me to which direction you can point me to. 更加令到你個動作同埋個 practice 係更好嘅 ，OK？ So for those <coughs> Vivian, yes, I will let you know the name of the book as soon as I do. Pushing the phone. Okay, so um, again, um, I'm gonna start. We're gonna start our practice now. So uh, let me know if you have. I just swiped the comments, so I can't see you anymore. Let me know if you have any questions, um, any anything whatsoever. Just let me know, okay? And I'll be at the studio next week. Um, hopefully, you can join me. My classes are Wednesday, right? So uh, hopefully, I'll see you at Pier Peninsula, right? If not, um, let's see. You know, maybe I, I will continue these online classes. Like, give me some feedback. Do you guys want more online classes? Uh, what styles? Let me see and let me know your thoughts. Okay. Okay. So let's come to our mats. <coughs> Excuse me. So sit cross legged. You're gonna chando. So for those that possibly just checked in, uh, welcome. Uh, we're going to start our vinyasa one practice. Certain times it might go to a vinyasa one point five. Sometimes I might go towards a vinyasa zero point five. Okay, so uh, but at any time you feel like you want to modify or uh, take another version of the pose to advance your practice, you're more than welcome. Okay, just uh, make sure that you're having fun and you're taking care of your body. Okay, so come to a grounded seated position if you. Know that you need a block. Make sure that it's just somewhere where you're able to grab it when you need it. Okay. How am I doing now? Okay. So today, let's do the vinyasa one. Okay. So, maybe some places it feels like vinyasa 1.5 or maybe it's vinyasa 0.5. So, I want to welcome you all to try to adjust or to add some movements to make you feel like you're adjusting. 啊、uh, ，令到你自己個 practice 係最好嘅，為自己。So as you close your eyes, right, it's great just to check into your body. You know, ground your sit bones, take a few deep breaths at your own time, just to connect to the body. It's like ten o'clock. It's not like super early, but it's all in how you see it. Some people think it's super early. Some people think they've already done hours and hours of things during the morning. So wherever you are, it's okay. Right now, we're committed to sitting on the mat for the next fifty-ish minutes. And so, I want you to connect your breath with me. So wherever you are, exhale through the nose. Inhale through the nose for four, three, two, one. Exhale four, three, two. One, bagel cafe. Four, three, two, one. Exhale. Four, three, two, one. Inhale. Four, three. Now feel the expansion. Lift up and brighten. Exhale. Four, three, two, one. Inhale. Grow tall over the spine. Three, two, one. Exhale. Four. Soften the face and shoulders. Two. <coughs> One inhale four, three last two rounds. Two, one exhale four. Do not fold so far in. Fold so far out. One inhale four, three. Somehow, it's hard to do a little bit. One exhale four, three, two, and one. You're coming to a natural rhythm of breath. Joining your hands into your heart center, so and so by some hojung gang. Good. If you'd love to practice opening your class with an intention or dedication, you can make that silently in your heart right now. Right, you go hold hands. Before you're very lucky, ah, to join your intention or one thing, or one person to join your practice. So now, you can in your heart. And let's join our breath and voices with three ohms. 
Inhale. Let's enjoy the morning together and have a beautiful practice. Namaste. <clears throat> you slowly open your eyes again, and then let's come into ragdoll at the top of the mat. So feet are hip width apart, and then just rest your upper body, holding onto your opposite elbows. So let's have a good zack in being. So you can hold hip width apart. Then you can bend the knees. Then you can bend the knees. So again, remember that you can bend the knees or have them straight, whatever you feel like your body wants to do right now. So just kind of relax the head, right? feel the body. Good. And then bring your hands onto the floor, toe heel your feet, and come into Malasana. So just come into a gentle squat. Let's feel the hips, and let's feel the lower back. Okay, so you can bring your hands onto the floor, drop your head, okay, or you can bring your hands into your heart center, and then lengthen your spine. Right, so you can bring your hands onto the floor, drop your head, or you can bring your hands into your heart center, and then so some people wake up with a tighter back, some people wake up with tighter hamstrings or shoulders, and some people just may, might wake up that everything is just stiff. <laughs> so it's great to just kind of connect, you know. And you know, if you're in the studio before the teacher comes in, you can just do a few stretches you know, before you start your asana practice, or just lie in shavasana, whatever your body is telling you. Holding for just five more breaths. You try your best to, if you're quite uh, stable, to just sink the hips good, and really work on lengthening the spine. So finding that length, you know, you see the inner thigh, it's kind of straight, right? Lengthening, equal that with the sides of the body, holding here. Okay, bring your hands onto the floor, come back into your forward bend. So straighten your legs or micro bend, toe heel your feet together this time. Good. And again, grab your opposite elbows, but this time look down towards the ground. Good. So if your knees are bent, it's okay. Good. So come see, show the hamad say, hold your king chin chan sun, but go see see mong hun day ha. Good. And if you can, straighten the legs. So just a gentle, deeper stretch. So now we're kind of, once we lift the chin and change the drishti down to the floor, we want to lengthen the body. You know, subconsciously, the body will do that just a little bit more when you lift the chin. Right, so if it's too much for your neck, again, drop it. But if you can, lengthen and hold. Good. Bring your hands onto the floor. Right, use a block or bring your hands onto your calves. Inhale to a halfway lift. Good. Hands onto your hips. Inhale, come up into a standing position. Okay. So vinyasa ones, I do consistently start with three A's and two B's. Okay. So let's do that now. Okay, if you're unfamiliar, I hope you are, right? Um, just, you know, you can watch, but if you can, just listen to my voice and see if you can join our practice together. Okay, Samasti Tihi. Standing still, reminder for your eyes to be in one place. Still, breath is moving in towards the upper rib cage. Lower abdomen is slightly pulled in and up towards the spine. Okay, starting to focus the breath through the nose, inhaling and exhaling. Legs are strong. Good. Let the breath guide you. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift. Step back into a plank. You can do modified knees down, Chaturanga, into a cobra, or your upward facing dog, and downward facing dog. Five breaths in down dog. Go full cup. Good. So remember to bend the knees and lengthen the spine if you want. And if it's your first down dog of the day, you can move around. You know, you can bend the heels, pedal, turn the heel in, anything that feels good for you. Okay, holding here. Eyes looking forward, walk or jump to a halfway lift. Exhale and fold. Flat back, inhale, arms up. Exhale, samastitihi, so standing still. So the second, third one will be a little bit more quicker. 
Yeah, so let's do this together. Yeah. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, dive down, Uttanasana. Halfway lift. Walk or jump back, plank, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Five breaths. Inhale and exhale. Inhaling and exhaling. So in the beginning, if you're unable to control the breath to kind of prolong the inhale and exhale, it's okay. Just breathe through the nose and try not to strain the face or the throat as you breathe. Look forward, come to a halfway lift, step forward or jump, exhale and fold. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, samasthiti to heat. Number three, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Chaturanga. Up. And down. Yeah, so being still now in your downward facing dog. Yeah, make sure that you spread the fingers out wide, everybody. So right, to you. Right, if you have to choose between stretching your lower back or spine as opposed to the hamstrings, then I'd rather you bend the knees and work the lengthening of the body. Look forward, walk or jump, halfway lift, exhale and fold. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, samastitihi. Get standing still. I just noticed I'm cutting my head off. So just stay in samastitihi. Good. And let's come into Surya Namaskar B. Okay? So first one a little bit slower. Bend the knees. Inhale, arms up. Ukatasana. Palms together. Eyes are looking up. Saljo hamai. Get mong hago saljo Good. Stay here. Good. So reach the hands up. Bring the palms together. Eyes are looking up to the sky. Exhale, fold forward, Uttanasana. Halfway lift. Good. Walk or jump, Chaturanga. Inhale up. Exhale down. Right leg steps forward. Inhale, Warrior One. So inhale the arms up. Notice the back foot. Good. So it's down from my new people to yoga. Warrior One. The back foot is pointing 45 degrees. Right toe is pointing forward. Okay. Palms together, eyes looking up. There are different variations of Warrior One. Right, but today we're just gonna follow the Steinga lineage. Palms together, eyes are looking up. Inhale, exhale, hands down, vinyasa. So that means chaturanga. Remember to take your modifications. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, down dog. Left leg steps forward, warrior one. Inhale, arms up and hold. So once we find that stillness, keep breathing. Holding here. Exhale, hands down, chaturanga. Inhale up, exhale down. Five breaths here, I'm gonna come. So I think that I should put these stickers on the floor, make sure my mat's always in place. I find myself moving the mat and body all the time. But the whole point is I really want you guys to see the proper angle. Yeah, bend the knees, look forward, walk or jump, halfway lift, exhale, fold. Utkatasana, bend the knees, inhale, arms up, look up to the palms. Yeah, so make sure the weight's not just on the toes, shift back a little bit more. Yeah, and samastitihi, okay? Which one we the whole dog, it's at him with the angle, which one hold it. Okay, so again, so namaskar B, second one, a little bit quicker, okay? Samastitihi, legs are strong. Connect to the breath. Next inhale, bend your knees, Upatasana. Exhale, Uttanasana, fold forward. Halfway lift, walk or jump, Vinyasa. Inhale up, strong arms. Exhale down, right leg. Inhale, warrior one, arms up. Exhale back down, Vinyasa. Up and down, left leg. Warrior one, inhale, arms up. Don't hold the breath, Vinyasa, back down. Inhale, up, exhale, down. Five breaths. Good. 
should be on the third breath. Inhale. Exhale, four. Inhale. Exhale, bend the knees, look forward. On the inhale, jump. Halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Utkatasana, bend your knees, arms up. Exhale, samasthiti. Get staying here. So you should start, be, start to sweat, feel a little bit of heat in the body, and hold here. Good, inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Toe heel your feet hip width apart. Hook your big toes. Oh, you got So remember to bend the knees if you need to. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold forward. So this time, going deeper into the stretch, pull the body down. Good. So you want to have that space from your thigh and your belly to be closer together. Good. So like we did in the beginning of class, if it feels good for you to lift the chin and pull the body down, you can do that option too. Okay, we're not holding it super long. Hold for three, two, and one. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step back to plank. Drums are down. Now in plank, make sure the fingers are spread out wide. So what's Tan hoi saige. Okay, take a look at them. If you have any wrist issues, make sure you have some sort of cushioning underneath the wrist. Good, and just take care of your body, okay? Push the ground away. Yeah, so you're more than welcome to bring the knees down. We're gonna come into a slow chaturanga. Let's do that for five seconds, okay? Inhale, exhale, chaturanga. Five, four, three, two, and one. Up dog, press up. Open the chest and stay here. Good, bring your knees to the ground to start. Good, toes are pointing back. Open the chest, good, and look forward. Good. So remember, guys, Tristana, eyes are looking forward here. Right, so wherever the eye goes, the body will move. So once we're here, I want you to start to lift up 45 degrees. See how that changes the dynamic of the pose. Good. So push the tops of the feet onto the mat and lift your knees up. Good. Roll the shoulder blades together, puff the chest. Now lift the chin up a little bit more, upper corner of the room. Feel the heart open. Good, now bring the chin back down, look forward. Does that feel different? Yeah, so the power of the dristi, okay? So whenever you feel like you wanna kinda of bring the pose down a little bit, maybe possibly change where you're looking. That will help, okay? Holding for five. Four, so what feels good? Three, two, and one. Downward dog, press back. Use your core to press back. Holding downward dog. Good, step your right leg forward. Let's come to warrior two. Good, open the chest. So open the body, arms open wide. <laughs> Maybe later when we do the live, we can do it inside the studio so we have more space. Yeah? Bend the right knee and hold. Or do you guys like our room? <laughs> my bunny is always here. That's actually my diffuser. So a little bit deeper. Yeah, so we're just kind of coming in towards the sequence of foundational poses that more or less we'll do in uh, many of the classes yeah, that you practice in. Okay, so let's kind of just feel, so make sure that the legs are working. We have two legs in warrior two. So how do I make sure that my right leg and my left leg are equally working? Okay, especially for the next pose, side angle. Bring your right elbow towards the knee. Inhale the left hand up. So we are shifting the upper torso over towards the right leg more. But how do we engage the back leg more to balance that foundation out, you know? So take a moment to just to feel the back leg, right? So also in the penguin, right? Or the but yeah, king tina, go yoga we go go jogger go holla. So tung hung jogger go to bomb boha. Get holding here. Get reach your left hand up to the sky. Yeah, now reach your right hand down, hold your ankle, jok your girl now, and straighten your right leg. Come in the trikonasana. So it might slightly be wider than your normal triangle, which is okay. All right, we're just kind of feel. Yeah. Now, what happens if you just relax? So just everybody relax the legs, Blah. yeah? So I want you to feel how it is when you drop into the pose, and then as opposed to when you lift off the mat, yeah? So I want you to press the right foot down, good, and then press the left foot down. Now take that right hip, push it towards me a little bit, good. Now hold it there. Now take the, the left hip and open it up. So it's like a book that's opening up. Now 
body. Feel that? Good. Now keep that and lengthen your spine. Good. Hold here. Trikonasana triangle pose. Good. So one pose can be felt in so many different ways. Holding for five, four, three, two, and one. Bring your left hand to the floor, coming into a wide Parsvottanasana. Good. So the hips will be quite wide as opposed to what we're usually, and I want you to fold forward. Good. Feel your hamstrings. Good. Trying your best to not uh, pull the left hip back and the right hip too forward. You take a moment to adjust, making sure that the hips are square. Good. So again, you can look down to your leg or you can look forward. Hold here. Remember, you can always come to your fingertips, find a little bit of height into the pose. Hold for five, four, three, two, and one. Bring your palms down, bend your right knee. Get lift your right leg up, step back into plank, and hold. Re-engage the core, engage the legs. Yeah. So when you're in plank, come to the tips of the toes. I'm not sure if you can see my toes, right? but they're not back. right? So the heel is not behind my toes, it's forward. Even coming to the tip of the toes, hold here. For five, four, three, did I say five earlier? Two, and one, chaturanga. Inhale up, Good. exhale and down. Remember where you wanna look, okay? Looking up will take it a little bit more deeper. Okay, slip your left leg in warrior two, and open the body. Okay, so I'm gonna stay at this angle. Okay, so hopefully you're already familiar with how the feet are. Yeah, so when you see the back, sometimes it's good to envision that you're leaning against the wall. I'm sure you've heard teachers say it that way, right? So sometimes this happens, the shoulder goes forward. Yeah? So lean back against the wall. But when you do, don't let that knee collapse in. Push it over towards the left. Good. Open the chest. Good. Now side angle. Bend the elbow. Bring it down and reach your arm forward. Lengthen. So how your torso is now, you're trying to maintain that for trigonasana, triangle pose. Okay. So remember to engage the back leg equally. Reach your right hand up, look down to the ground, extend the hand, hold the ankle, and straighten the left leg. Good. So again, look down, or you can look up. Remember, press the right hip up, scoop the left hip underneath you. Good. Reach up and lengthen. So lengthen the top of the head over. Lengthen. Especially that, that left waist. Lengthen it. Five, four, three, two, and one. Bring your right hand down. Wide parvo. And so inhale, exhale, and fold down. And how about you? My left leg, the hamstring is much. Uh, tighter than my right. We all, always have imbalances. And for me, it's always the left side, right? Even when we do splits, it's always the left leg's a bit tighter. So I need to kind of focus my breath and go a little bit deeper as much as I can onto the left. <laughs> or as opposed to the beginning, I guess it's better. The beginning was like both legs are super tight. Hold here for five. Remember, you can always modify. Four, three, two, and one. Chin up, look down in between the hands, bend the knee. So when we're in a deep lunge to so step the left, left leg back, you can always lift the left hand a little bit to step back, or, or just pull your core in and step. So it depends on what your practice is, okay? And where your flexibility is, holding here. Inhale, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale up, exhale, downward facing dog. Good. Hold here for just two to three breaths. Your eyes are looking forward. Step your right leg. Now this time we're going to come into Anjaniyasana, high lunge. So the back foot is up. Inhale, arms up. Good, and hold. Eyes are looking forward. Good, stay there. Good. Now bring your hands onto your hips, so it's not tied to you, and bend your right knee more. Back leg super strong. Yeah. So bring your elbows in towards the chest. So like, hello, I don't know, kind of like that, right? 
It's kind of like a W shape, palms are facing up. So notice that the collarbone is broad. Okay, keep bending into the right knee. Now turn your palms towards me like a W. Good, inhale, open the arms, 45 degree angle. Exhale, pull it in. Good, inhale, open. Exhale, pull it in. Inhale, open. Exhale, pull it in. Good, this time, inhale, open. Lean your right torso and it's touching the thigh. Okay, pulling the right hip back. Good, exhale, come back up, pull it in. Open the chest, open the body. Inhale, lean forward. Exhale, pull in. Inhale, open. Exhale, pull it in. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. One more time. Inhale, open. Exhale, squeeze it in. Good. Inhale, open. Now stay here. Exhale, squeeze the elbows in and hold. I want you to feel the shoulder blades really squeeze together. Hold for five. Make sure the palms are not dropped. Open it up. Four, three, two, and one. Hands down. Step back and switch. Or jump switch. <laughs> Inhale. High lunge and hold. How are we doing? We're good? Okay. Building our base, guys. Good. Bring your hands into your hips. Take a moment. Yeah, make sure your legs are sturdy, stable. You're confident in your lunge. Okay, so make sure that you're grounded. Elbows in. Inhale, open. Exhale, pull in. Inhale, open. Exhale, pull in. Good. Inhale, open. Exhale, pull in. Inhale, Inhale, Elbows are in. Inhale. Good. And exhale. Elbows are in. Move the hands back. Inhale. Good. Exhale. Inhale, two more. Exhale. Inhale, you squeeze the muscles into the arms, guys. Exhale. Good, hold. Inhale, lean forward and hold. Good. Exhale, pull it back. Inhale, don't straighten that left knee. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Two more. Inhale, reach with the fingers. Exhale, pull it back. Last one, inhale. Good. Exhale and hold. Good. Inhale. Lean forward. Now keep torso down. Exhale. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Really feel in the shoulders, the back. Look down to the ground if the neck is stiff. For three, two, and one. Downward facing dog. Step back. Regular vinyasa. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Five breaths here, move a full cup. Yeah, okay, keep your breath moving. Yeah, look forward, walk or jump to a halfway lift. So my head's still in. Exhale and fold. Inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, hands into the heart. Again, okay, stay here for two breaths. Try not to leave. Stay with me. Okay. Ukatasana, bend your knees. Good. So keep your hands where they are and just sit deep. You're trying to bring your belly into the thighs and hold. Good. Okay, now release the hands and just graze the floor. Okay, we're going to do the same W hands. We're going to stay in Ukatasana. Okay? So bring the elbows in and hold. So the, the, the elbows are touching the rib cage as much as they can. Good. Inhale, open the arms, lean back, get deeper, exhale, pull it in. Five times, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, two more to go. Inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. Now hold this, squeeze the shoulder blades. Good, for five, four, open the collarbone, three, two, and release, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift. Take a moment. Good. Bend your knees. Good. Inhale, arms up. Utkatasana. Here we go. Exhale, hands into the heart. Bring your right elbow to the left knee and twist. Good. So see how it feels if you just look down. 
relax the face. Good. As opposed to if you're having a bit of tightness, looking up and cranking the neck. So try not to do that if it's a bit tight. Okay, lift your right heel up. Now go down, go, go, and hold. Shift your weight over towards the left leg and step your right leg back. Bring the knee down, right hand to the floor, and twist. Re-engage the back leg now. So make that transition of the knee down, knee up, and hold. And open the body. Get look down to the ground, step back into your Vasisthasana, take your time. So I just transition. Choose your dristi. Lift your left leg up, pump. Two, three, four, last one, and five. Good, keep the left knee up, step forward, back into the lunge, twist. Good. Bring your hands onto the floor, step forward, keep your knees bent. No straight knees for the front foot just yet. Inhale, Ukitasana. Good, exhale, twist, left elbow, right knee. Twist open. Keep your eyes to the floor, deepen your twist. Lift your left heel, take a moment, no rush. Good, shift your weight over towards the right foot. Step back, bring the knee down, transition up, open the right hand. Lift the back knee now. Okay, so if you want to look to the floor, you can, or look up. Holding here for three, two, and one. Transition, take your time, side plank. Elbow up, pump. Two, three, four. Five, and hold, woohoo. Step it forward, come into your twist. Bring your hands down, step forward. Keep your knees bent, sit deep. Good, inhale, arms forward. Good, so remember that feeling when we bring the elbows in? Bring that now in towards the shoulders, but keep your arms straight for five. Four, three, two, and one. Hands down, Uttanasana, straighten the legs. Relax the neck, Good. and hold. Okay. Inhale, halfway lift. Good, now step your left leg back. Come into a low plank. Yeah. Lengthen the spine. Good, how are you guys doing? Sweating? Me too. All right, good, find your lengthening. Now straighten the right leg, good. And uh, for the first part, point the right toe down. Good. So keep it down. Good. I need to just hold here. Good. Now take your toe and turn it towards the inside of the mat and come into a side, kind of like a half frog. All right, don't worry, we're not gonna do frog. Hold here. Now keeping the leg straight, Okay, so you're like in this position. So the leg is not perpendicular, a little bit wider. Right, bring your elbows down and hold. Stretch. If you can go deeper, please go deeper. Stretch the hips. So feeling the inner groin area inside of the hip stretching. Holding for five, four, three, Two, and one. Turn your right toes out. Good, come back up. Good, from here, walk your knee in a little bit. I want you to take your bind. So bring your right hand underneath. Bring it behind you. Good, and take your bind. Good, so keep that right toe down. Do you see the toe? Point it down, stretch the body. Good. Good, hold for five, four, Three, two, and one. Now release. Good. Vinyasa to switch to the other side. So step back, chaturanga. Inhale up, exhale down. Low lunge, left leg. Good. So this is working towards something. <laughs> so let's just feel how the inner hips feel before we come into our 
fun pose that we're going to do today. Straighten the leg. Good point. Yeah, so from here, open the body out. Walk the knee open a little bit. It's actually good that you don't have a mat. The knee needs to go out. Yeah? Okay. And bring your elbows down. So down by the heart. So the hip area, so the hip area, so the hip area, so the groin area, so the hip 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 area, Good. Come back up, point the toe. <laughs> I think my exercise is moving around the mat. Take your bind. So, thumbs down, go underneath, take your bind, and hold. Good. So, keep having the left toe pointing down towards the ground to open up. Hold for five, four. So, the chest might be down. It's okay. Just try to open the shoulder up. Three, Two and one, release. Step back into plank and hold. Five second chaturanga. Remember the elbows are to the inside of the chest. Go five, four, three, two, and one. Up dog, press up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Yes, yeah, so we know how the hips are feeling. Let's work on stabilizing the shoulders, okay? Bring your knees down. We're gonna come into low plank, okay? So in low plank, sometimes when you come into a low plank position, yeah, your shoulders might collapse, right? So when you're in low plank, make sure the shoulder blades are moving away from each other as opposed to together, okay? So we're gonna hold this for a little bit and we're just gonna work on shoulder stability, okay? So set up your hands, make sure your elbows are Shoulder width apart, straighten the legs, and hold. Good, and breathe. I notice when I teach online classes, my neck gets really stiff. I'm always looking up to the phone. Okay, so I'm gonna try not to, and then know that you're listening to me, and that's fine. Holding here. For 10 more seconds, set your seat down. Five, four, three, listen, two, open your hands up and switch over towards your left. So keep your left hand down for this part and hold. Stay with me. I'm just moving. You don't have to see my head. Just look at my feet, okay? If you want to put your left hand on the hip, you can. Okay, good. Look at my feet. Now open the feet like Charlie Chaplin. Good. So that's the outer spiral of the legs, correct? Good. Bring your toes back down. Now separate the heels. Inner spiral of the legs. Good. Outer spiral. Inner spiral. Two more times. Outer spiral. Inner spiral. Last time. Outer spiral. Now hold inner spiral for five, four, three, two, and low plank. Hold. You're still with me? Other side. Flip over. Okay? Or the hoist, uh, yeah, so that's how you do that. So remember, wherever the left hand, uh, right hand is, it's okay. You're supporting yourself. Charlie Chaplin, toes um, opening, the heels opening. Feel the thighs work, it's not just the ankle. Open the thighs, inner spiral the thighs. Three more times. Open, inner spiral. Open, inner spiral. Open, inner spiral. Last one. Open, inner spiral, hold for five, four, inner spiral the thighs, three, two, and low plank and hold. Last 10 seconds. Hold the belly in. Four, three, two, push up into plank, and then downward dog. Hmm. How did that feel? Good. One vinyasa, guys. Inhale, plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. 
Bring your knees down, come into a seated position. Get a Jin and Chow Get So we're just gonna come into a, just a little bit of core, just a little bit, nothing crazy. But crazy is in the eye of the beholder, right? <laughs> so try your best, okay? Have fun, guys. Bring your hands onto the floor and lengthen your spine. So this is called Dandasana. So when you lie, when you sit here, uh, open the sit bones, legs are straight. And legs are strong. It's easy to be passive here, right? but just for today, just for this part, I want you to be engaged, okay? So press down with the hands and hold. Good. Make your legs strong. Look at your toes. Are they happy? Make sure your toes are happy, okay? Open them up wide. Good. Reach your hands forward, so don't move the torso. Just reach your hands forward. Get your fingertips down and curl your spine, hold oh boy. Get kind of like a cat pose when we do cat and cow. Good, and hold. Belly in strong. Good, now lean back. So the hands will glide on the floor. Okay, your spine will keep on curling. Lean back for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and hold. My mat is curling up, hold here. Yeah, so you feel like the, the sacrum, tip of the sacrum is actually touching the mat. The inhale, come back up, keep your cur spine curled. Keep your hands there. Lean back, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, strong legs, four, three, two, and hold. Now stay in this position, keep your chin tucked, lift your feet up, yeah, just, for, just for a little bit. Pull the belly in, curl the spine, use your core. Inhale, come back up, good, and relax. Okay, so you possibly would have felt it in the legs, core, right? If you felt it in the lower back, that means you're not using enough of the core. Right, so you the foot Okay, so bring your hands to the sides of the body. Reconnect in Dandasana. Bring your hands forward. Curl your spine. Okay, so earlier it was like this. Now we're like this. Mid thigh. Thigh is the middle of the thigh. Lean forward. Nice. Lean forward. Good. You're like, ooh, having a tired day. You just kind of lean forward. Get hold. Okay, so make sure the hands are in the right position. Good. And then when you lift your butt, the butt goes back. Okay, so you're in this position now, Hong Hong Day Boy. Okay, lean forward and lift your butt up. Good. So the bum is going backwards. Hold here for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Sit down and straighten the spine. So in order for you to lift your hips up, right? If you just push down just with your hands, some people say, oh, my hands are uh, uh, not long enough, right? So actually, if I straighten, I can't lift my hips up either. So in order to lift up, you need to shorten your torso. That's why we're hunching, okay? Let's try that one more time, okay? So curl the spine, lean forward, relax the neck. You don't need to look at me, just breathe. Belly in, happy toes, inhale, lift up. Good, and lift the core. Pull it in. Good. If you want the hips to be higher, curl the spine more. Good. For five, four, three, two, and one. Come down. How did that feel? Good? Okay. So, um, I think a few weeks back, I taught Asta Vakrasana, right? Uh, so, if you are still working that way, today we're going to do a different version uh, with our elbows down. Okay, so we're going to come into the same setup, same prep. So we're going to do the compass pose to open the hips again. And then that time when we lift up, I want you to remember what we were doing earlier, how we had to shorten the body in order to come up. Okay, so let's start. Cradle the foot. Okay, Okay. Pull it back, kind of like a half happy baby, and hold. Yeah, so during these different steps, it depends on where you are, where you are. So if you want to kind of stay here, and because I want to work on my hips, you can. Okay, but you know, for me, I always hope that you can come with me and practice more. So bring that knee over that shoulder. Good. 
stay here. Now you can use your left hand, hold the outside of the foot. Okay, this is uh, an option. If you know that you're still working on that flexibility, your option is to bring the left hand down and just straighten the right leg towards the right. This way. Okay, you can do this phone. If you can do it, you can do it on the hip. Okay, if you can do opposite hand, so the left hand holds the outside of the right foot, I'm going to face you because I know that you're, I'm mirroring you. Bring the right hand down good, and straighten the foot. And just hold here, just go straight. Okay, just get a feel of the hips. Right? And I want you to focus in on the energy of that right heel shooting over towards the right, that energy. Good, stay here and remember the inner spiral. Inner spiral, inner spiral. Good, and release. <sighs> okay, so a few points to remember. Core in, and then when we cross the ankles, remember the plank pose when we're in side plank and we said, Charlie Chaplin, then heels open. I want you to focus the energy of the heels open, okay? That's the inner spiral of the thighs. Let's do it. So come back to this. Here, bring your hands down. Okay, so everybody come into this position, right, and hook the ankle on top of the knee. Okay, and hold here. Now we're just gonna go up down, not into full pose just yet. Regular students, most thank up right, dan tam mai Okay, lift your hips up. Again, my arms don't move, but I curl my spine, like we did earlier. Lift your hips up. Yeah, just stay here. Yeah, once you get the field bed, it's actually not as challenging as you originally thought. Okay, get that mobile head. Do not hold the breath. Hold for five, four, three, two, and sit down. Okay, keep your leg where it is. Okay, if it's slid down, right, put it back up. Okay, now this time, keep your right hand where it is. Everybody, bring your left elbow down, like this, okay? And from here, you're gonna lean over towards the left elbow. You don't wanna work the inner spiral of the legs, okay? So if you just watch me for a second, I'm just gonna use my legs, okay? You wanna inner spiral and shoot out, okay? Good, inner spiral, open. Inner spiral, right, that behind learning, okay? <laughs> that wasn't very graceful, but did you see what I meant with the legs? Okay, let me make sure I have a mat underneath me. Let's try this, okay? Let's do this, guys. Hook your ankle. Remember the core inner spiral. Bring your elbow down. Bring the right hand down. Good. Now lift up and inner spiral. Inner spiral. Inner spiral for five. Four, inner spiral. Look at your toes. Squeeze together. Two and gently release down. How did you do? I can't see you, but I hope you tried and you did it, okay? Let's do the other side. So, cradle your baby. Yeah, Remember your option I gave you last time? You can hook with your elbows, okay? And hold here. Okay, we've gotta quicken this up. So we did a lot of talking on that side, maybe this side just a little bit less. So just kind of see if you can understand the movements as much as you can, okay? Half happy baby, pull it in. Good, bring it in. Good. Take the hand, extend, or option. Good, and hold. Three, two, and one. Bring it in, set the hands up. Hands down, hand down, everybody hook the ankle, okay? So just lift up, use your core. Okay, even if you feel it in your hands or somewhere else, pull the core in. And from here, feel the inner spiral, so as if the knees are moving close together. Feel that for five, four, three, two, and come down, okay? Let's do this. So readjust the leg, put the foot in, right elbow down. Okay, so remember, inner spiral, inner spiral. Okay, we're gonna do this now, hold, inhale, come up, inner spiral, inner spiral. Hold for five, four, squeeze the thighs. That's if you're giving your blood pressure on your left hand. Three, two, 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 and one. Come down, yay! Okay, vinyasa, guys. So plank, chaturanga, inhale up, exhale down. Bring your knees down. Come into Balasana, child's pose. Good, hips on your heels, reach forward. Taking a few deep breaths here. 
I really hope you had fun in that pose. Remember that if you're not able to do it today, right, just keep practicing. Keep working either as a flexibility or strength or both. Keep moving towards it slowly and slowly, okay? Okay, turn around, lie down, face in the sky, so fun day. Good. And hug your knees in towards your chest. Now I'm going to take a toko. Good. Give your knees a gentle hug. Time really flew by, so we're just going to slowly bring it back down. Good. So release the left leg down, pull the right knee in towards the right shoulder. Again, taking your modification, uh, well, meaning if you want to go deeper into the stretch, then hug your knee and pull it down. Good, release, switching sides. So again, you can interlace. If you're interlacing your fingers, make sure it's all the way to the webbing and the tops of the fingertips are pressing down. Yeah, so you're actually using your upper body, I mean your upper arm strength to pull in. Okay, your modification is to hold if you're deep enough. Yeah, make sure the spine feels straight. You know, you still have that space of the lower back curve, but, but you feel like you're Quite straight, kind of like you're in Tadasana or when you're seated in Sukhasana. Good, stay here, bring your right knee up. Good, I want you to uh, straighten your feet up to the sky, cross your ankles, I mean cross your ankles, cross your knees, good, and hold your feet. So kind of like cow facing posture, yeah? But we're gonna interlace the fingers and pull in. Right, if you can see the knees, right, you stay where you are, but you can look at the screen, the knees are stacked on top of each other and your feet are out, like a W, yeah? And pull it. So maybe the hip flexor stretch, right? More of, well, yeah, it depends on what you're working on. Sometimes it's already quite deep into the hip flexor, right? If you don't feel much, keep pulling in. And now just release the hands and drop your knees over towards your left into a supine twist. Reach your right hand over, look, turn towards your right, Okay, you can close your eyes now, so we know what we're going to do on the other side. So just close your eyes and just listen to my voice. Turn your head back to center. Good. Untwist your legs, feet up to the sky. Cross the left knee on top of the right knee. Bend your knees and hug it into the chest. Remember, your feet are open to the left and right, right? And then the knees are stacked on top of each other, and you're pulling the knee in towards the chest. Okay, anatomically, it doesn't matter where the feet is. Just make sure you stack the knees, and you just feel the stretch somewhere. You know, there's no wrong. There is wrong if it's hurting yourself. <laughs> but if you're just feeling a deep stretch, that's perfectly fine. Good. And we have gravity against us, so it's okay. We're just letting gravity help us go deeper into the pose. Good. Release the hands and drop your knees over towards your right. Good. And look over towards your left. So you can close the eyes. How are you doing that, Hamai? Chin back. Pointing to the ceiling, come back to center, release the legs, and line Shavasana. Again, if you still have something you want to do, like a happy baby or a Sukta Baddha Konasana, go ahead, practice that for five to ten breaths, and then join us in Shavasana. Right, you go to join up at Dongja Hose and Chow, right? Hose Deepi Sek, or I say, um, Mudip Sek, come there, Hose Chapin Chow, Joe Batsi Sapko Fuka, and then see how Fan Fan Eta Yo Sek. If you're lying in Shavasana, relax your body. Make sure you're comfortable, you know, do you need to move the shoulder blades closer together, have your feet a little bit wider, just be comfortable, and then that will help you relax a little bit more in Shavasana. Get so staying there. Relax your jaw, feng sung ha pa.
So the breath is very natural now. Go, go, cup hai full hella, ho ti in gaiga. So you don't need to force anything. Good. And if you feel like you need to take a deep inhale and sigh, right, you can do that if that may helps you relax. Again, Shavasana is very important in your practice, you know, especially when if you have a home practice, you're able to lie down a little bit longer, you know. Um, if you're in the studio, that you might not get the chance to have an adequate Shavasana. Right, so if you are, are, if you need to leave the studio, you know, and everybody's leaving and you feel like you haven't had a long Shavasana, you know, you could just go out, <clears throat> sit in the common area, uh, close your eyes and just let the body relax a little bit before you shower or anything. You know, it's good to just center in, let the body take in all the benefits of class, let it sink into the body, right, as opposed to practicing, let's just say a dynamic practice right and then shavasana a minute come up and, blah, 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 you know, and then take your shower and everything right so maybe just commit yourself to staying in a place of stillness be it shavasana seated sitting on the floor you know wherever it is just commit to that moment of silence after you practice Again, I welcome you to stay in Shavasana here. Okay, if you find that, okay, we've been here for a minute and so, and then, you know, it's enough, you wanna get up. Or if you have something to do after class, right, I welcome you to turn your head to the left and right. Okay, and then bend your knees into your chest. Give yourself a little hug if you want to. Roll over to your right, and then slowly come up into a seated position. Hands on your knees, eyes are closed. Good. If you are staying in Shavasana, I welcome you to use five seconds and turn your phone off so I don't disturb you. Okay? If you're still with me, join your hands into your heart center. Stand up by some Okay. Alright, so taking a moment to be grateful and appreciate your physical body. Yeah, thanking it for giving you an opportunity to practice this beautiful practice of yoga. Okay, and for me, I'm really grateful for everyone's commitment, for finding time for your own well-being. You know, it's very, very important. So thank you for joining me. And we close together with one home. Inhale. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, again, if you are in Shavasana, take the moment to turn it off. And then, oh my goodness, I'm so sweaty. Okay, how are you guys feeling? Let me turn the comments back on. Good, I hope you enjoyed the practice. I'm hoping that you feel um, energized and happy physically and mentally. Um, you're welcome, you're welcome. Um, again, um, have a great day. It's so sunny here in Hong Kong, it's beautiful, right? And wherever you are in the world, um, in any circumstance you are, I wish you well. I wish you to have really good health. And you know what we were talking about earlier before we started practice? Um, you know, it's okay to have, you know, unhappiness and negative thoughts, you know, but remember when you do take a step back, right? And just hope for the best, you know, look at it in a positive standpoint. Have a negative bubble that will pop up naturally, but then again, you don't need to believe it, right? It's happening, but then you know what? If you look in a different, a different perception, different perspective, it actually could be a positive note. So just take a moment, see if you can do that, right? And then it'll be, you know, what's most important is our, our health, our well-being, right? Our happiness. 
Hey, George. Oh, my brother is here. You missed your class. It's okay. I'm going to upload it so you can do it again. Okay. Hi, Vivian from Australia. Hi. Thank you so much for everybody checking in. Okay. Um, I will be, I will keep you updated if there's going to be continuing with the online classes. Um, you can uh, check out my updates on my social platforms that are kind of in my profile up here. So yeah, I'll, I'll keep you updated. Okay. And um, hopefully we can keep up these online classes and see how we can continue the practice far and away and anywhere you are. Okay. Thank you again. Okay. Have a great weekend or have a great day or evening or morning. Okay. Namaste everybody. Thank you.